So now I'm going to take my Raspberry Pi case that I've already installed the Pi on. I've installed the screws. Our power connection is over here, and that's the one we're going to hook to our buck converter. But first I need to assemble this case to the uh, frame of our um, ender. So I'm going to take these rail nuts and start them on two M4 screws and kind of align them so they're straight in line with each other. Then I'm going to align those two so they go into the first rail. Uh, then I'll get my Allen wrench and snug those up. And as I do that, it'll turn that nut and lock it in place. Snug that up nice and snug on both of them. And now my Pi is installed. So all I have left is to connect the power connection from my buck converter into my Pi. And I want to make sure to orient that properly so that it goes in. And I lock that in. Now, this is a pretty tight angle and that uh, leftover wire slack uh, may get connected on or con caught on something. I took a zip tie and wrapped around that so that it gave it more of a straight shot in and then kind of pulled this wire up out of the way a bit. So I'll do that. I'm going to take a zip tie then and wrap around. It's actually easier if you just start it first. And then we're going to pull this kind of in a loop so that we get a straight shot going into the connector. And then I pull that tight. And that will kind of make a loop there that takes up some of this slack and gives me a little better angle on my power go in so it isn't going to pull out. And I'll go ahead and clip that off so it's not going to get caught on anything. I like to turn it so it's kind of pointed down and it's not going to scratch you when you're working on it. And we pull that off and uh, we're ready to turn on our pie and test it.